Welcome to Allergy and Asthma Network's Learning Pathway Series. Today, we'll look at diagnosing chronic urticaria. It is also referred to as chronic hives. Some people have hives that come and go within a few days or up to six weeks. This is known as acute urticaria or acute hives. When hives last six weeks or longer, then it is called chronic urticaria or chronic hives. Chronic urticaria can appear at any time, sometimes without triggers. How do you identify chronic urticaria? Here's what to look for. Hives are elevated. You should be able to feel them when you touch them. Hives are red on people with light skin. Hives match the color of the skin or are slightly lighter or darker in people of color. The hives may seem temporary. They may appear for a couple of hours, go away, and then come back later. They are very itchy. You may want to scratch them, but this can worsen your skin. Your doctor will first evaluate your rash to confirm it is hives. Your doctor may ask questions to determine if you have acute hives or chronic hives. These questions may include, how long have you had the hives? Days, weeks, and what were you doing when the hives first occurred? What parts of your body do you have hives? Do your symptoms occur in hot or cold conditions or in water? Are there any other symptoms along with hives? What treatments have you tried, if any, and did they help? Your doctor may ask if certain foods tend to trigger your hives. Keep in mind that foods can trigger acute, short-term hives, but they rarely cause chronic hives. In certain cases, your doctor may order a blood test to help with the diagnosis. Some doctors may test for antibodies as well. Keeping an urticaria diary for several weeks can be helpful for you and your doctor. It can be used to track how often your hives appear and the severity of your symptoms. Take photos of your urticaria to show your doctor at your next appointment. Sometimes the urticaria changes in severity or goes away before you can get to your appointment. It's important to document them before your visit. Join us soon for another Learning Pathways presentation where we will talk about how to treat your chronic urticaria. Allergy and Asthma Network is working every day to end the needless death and suffering due to asthma, allergies, and related conditions through outreach, education, advocacy, and research.